viscosity. The internal property of the liquids or gases by virtue of which an internal frictional force or viscous force comes into action due to the relative motion between the layers of the liquid is called viscosity. The liquid flowing over a horizontal solid surface assumed to be in the form of parallel layers. Velocity of the layer in a liquid goes on increasing as we move up from the bottom to the top. The layer at the bottom is assumed to be at rest or zero velocity and the layer at the top is the fastest moving layer with maximum velocity. We now consider two layers of liquid at a distance x and x plus dx moving with velocities v and v plus dv respectively. The viscous force between the layers of a liquid is found to be directly proportional to the velocity gradient between the layers and directly proportional to area of layers A in contact. Therefore, F is proportional to A into dy by dx or F is equal to minus eta into A dv by dx where eta is constant of proportionality called coefficient of viscosity. It depends upon the nature of the liquid. Negative sign shows that the direction of viscous force F is opposite to the flow of liquid. If dy by dx is equal to 1 and A is equal to 1, then F is equal to eta. Hence, coefficient of viscosity of a liquid is defined as the viscous force acting per unit area of the layer of liquid which maintains a unit velocity gradient between its two parallel layers. Stokes Law When a body falls through a fluid, it experiences some retarding or viscous drag or force on it which opposes the motion of the body. This backward viscous or drag force increases with the increase in velocity of the body. The motion of the body through the fluid set up the relative motion between the different layers of the fluid which ultimately depends upon the viscosity of fluid. As a result of the viscosity, the body experiences a viscous force or viscous drag. Stokes observed that the magnitude of the backward dragging force F acting on a small spherical body of radius r moving with velocity v through a viscous medium having coefficient of viscosity eta is given by f is equal to 6 pi eta rv. This is known as Stokes law. Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity is defined as the maximum constant velocity attained by the body while falling freely in a viscous medium. In case of raindrops, the viscous medium in which they are falling freely in air that is present in the atmosphere. A small spherical body falling freely through a fluid or viscous medium. The body starts moving fast initially due to gravity, but after some time it attains a constant velocity known as terminal velocity. As the body falls, three forces act on it simultaneously. The three forces acting on the spherical body are weight of the body W acting vertically downwards, viscous drag or force FV acting in the direction opposite to the motion of body as it opposes the motion of body and upward thrust FT due to the fluid displaced by body acting vertically upwards. As a result of these three forces, a stage reaches when the weight of the body or downward force is just equal to the sum of two upward forces with viscous or drag force and upward thrust. Then the body no longer speeds up further but the body starts falling with a constant velocity. V is equal to 2 R square rho minus sigma into G divided by 9 eta. It suggests that terminal velocity is directly proportional to square of the radius of the spherical body 
Bigger the size of the body, larger is the terminal velocity. In case rho is less than sigma, terminal velocity is negative. Thus, the body will move up with a constant velocity instead of falling downward. This is the reason for the rising of the gas bubbles through soda water bottle. Terminal velocity v is inversely proportional to the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid or viscous medium. It means more viscous the fluid, smaller is the terminal velocity it will attain.